Hi, it's Grace Pike. I'm back with Five Features and today we're here with the team from the Design Gallery by Sam's Furniture. They're going to be showing you how to properly dress your bed. Make sure to like, share, and comment on this post for a chance to win these gold decorative birds. Hey there, I'm Lara here at the Design Gallery by Sam's Furniture. And you know, Marla and I were having a very interesting conversation the other day, and she informed me that people actually spend more time in their bedroom than anywhere else in the house. And I thought that was so interesting. <laughs> So today, we decided that we are going to bring you our tips and tricks for how to just really kind of recreate this most important space in your home. So Marla, why don't we go ahead and start with just talking about how to pick the color palette of your room. Perfect. Well, in this particular instance, we started with a Hollywood Regency style. So it's a little bit glam, but we don't want it to be over the top. We want it to fit every person's home. And typically with Hollywood Glam, you start with a color like a gray or a pink or a rose of some kind. So we started with a very pretty blush color on the wall, but I wanna kinda of stop it there a little bit because I don't want it to be overwhelmingly pink, too yeah. sticky sweet, mm -hmm. too childlike. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring in the Glam, which is a little bit of gold, which is trending right now. It's such a hot look to bring in gold. And this is a very subtle gold. Yes, It's, it's mixed beautiful. with just a little bit of gray and cream. Mm -hmm. So it feels just a little bit better up against this pink. It's not so stark. And then we kind of travel around the room and bring little pops of pink in just to give it a subtle reference instead of having everything be so pink. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I love pink, but totally understand your reference. And we don't want to overwhelm, especially when that's what you choose for your wall color. That's right. So let's talk about how to dress a bed. I know so many people have different opinions and looks that they like, but why don't we talk about what you chose to put on this bed in here? Okay, for this particular style, we decided to go very traditional setting for the bed. So we start with a little bit of a taller pillow. These are actually shams as opposed to Euro shams. They're just regular king shams and they're usually a little bit lower. So to pop them up a little bit so they would show, I just used my regular bed pillow, my sleeping pillow, mm. and popped it up just a little bit so you could see it on the back. This is a little bit lower headboard, so you don't get quite as much headboard showing with this particular look. We also build out to a pyramid when you're doing a traditional bed set. So you start with the tallest pillow, you do three of the next level size pillow, then you do a couple of, I like fur to give it a little bit of texture, <laughs> I'm a fur girl, and then you do a little bit of velvet and a little cut velvet. All the textures make all the difference. I didn't use a lot of color, but I used a lot of textures and patterns to really give it an interesting curated feel. Then moving down further, we start with the coverlet, which is right here. You want that to be, it's just as important as what you have that shows up here. So this is a velvet, a cut velvet coverlet. It's very soft and it can be used as a blanket. The next thing I did was I used a duvet in the gold and I matched my duvet to the pillows against the back. So it starts, it starts at the top and moves all the way to the end. Layering is exceptionally important in this look. So once I put the duvet on, then I'd throw a, put a throw on the end of the bed just to finish the whole look. And then you've really got a great feeling. So I love that we actually have a few different colors in this bed. So we've got the white sheets, but it's great that you have white sheets because that's gonna tie into right. your lampshades. You also brought the white in with the fur and you may not be able to tell, but the welt on this pillow right here, we loved this pillow and that just ties the whole pillow in. And then you've got your coverlet that really is that neutral color, that's more right. tan. Um, that is what's pulling in your comforter. So that's, that's right. fantastic. That's uh, right. I just love this look. What about end of bed? There's so many different things. People, their, their mattresses can be different sizes. So what are some different options that we have to put at the end of your bed? A lot of people really don't enjoy having a duvet because typically you're gonna pick this up at the end of the evening and lay it across your pillows or your, or your chairs at the foot of the bed. So we actually don't do them all the time. So if you wanted a little bit of a cleaner look, cut back on your pillows just a little bit, take the front three off and just add the throw at the end. And it still softens the look. It's just a little more simple. Yeah. This is full on, full done, traditional bed. 
So if you're not the duvet person, just take it off, leave that off, and just use the throw at the end. But remove a couple pillows because that's really gonna make all the difference. Yes, oh, absolutely, because it'll just look way too massive. It's too massive off. up here and too minimal down mm -hmm. here. So we want it to match. And you can take your throw blanket and you can make it messy and kind of more bunched up how it is now. Or you can fold it neatly and put it all the way across the bed. That's exactly right. And we can show some different styles in that respect, but this is just the very traditional, very put together, very done look. Yes, yeah. So what about the foot of the bed? Okay. Because, you know, a lot of people may have some extra room right. in their bedroom. So what, what can we put down there? Okay, so you wanna pull your look from the front to the end. And if you've got at least six feet from the end of your bed to the beginning of your dresser or whatever you have against the wall, you want something in here or it's just gonna feel like an open bowling alley. You mm -hmm. don't, you're not really finishing the room. Mm -hmm. It won't feel, it won't look complete. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is either put a couple of chairs and a wonderful table, keep anything on it very low so that when you look across, you're not seeing a big lamp or something like that, or a floral. That should be kept on your bedsides. Uh -huh. So a couple of chairs, a table, and then I continued that look. I brought in a hide to give it just a little bit more texture, something very different. And then we used some alpaca poofs, again, to bring in that texture. And I just kept that color very seamless all the way through. Mm -hmm. Well, and I love the hides, and I feel like people would probably be like, whoa, Wait, we can put a hide in our bedroom because, you know, that, well, they typically keep it for an office or for a living room. So I love that you set this room up that way Absolutely. and taking the alpaca poofs and it's a different color than you got your fur on your bed. And so they're not, it's not too matchy matchy right. when you do it that way. You don't ever want it to look like you bought the corner of the furniture store. Yes. You want everything to feel curated and very fresh and very you. Mm -hmm. You have to love it. It's for you. Absolutely. So make sure your bedroom is the space that feels good to you when you come in. It feels like you. It's your personality and mm -hmm. your look. Mm -hmm. You're going to spend, like you said, a lot of time in that room. You want it to feel good. It's the last thing you see at night and it's the first thing you see in the morning. Yes. <laughs> Well, and then also some other things that we could put at the end are a bench or, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of our vignettes actually have love seats or sofas right. at the end of them. Um, That's right. So let's talk about height. When they're trying to choose something to put at the footboard, what kind of height do you want to stay within with this? I furniture? always stay as, as close to the height of the foot of the bed as possible. Again, you want that sight line. Mm -hmm. Some people like to have a TV at the end of their room and you want to be able to lay in bed and be able to access that comfortably. It also lets the bed be the star of the show. So that's really okay. important. Yeah, that's amazing. And we've got actually a statue sculpture on the right. table here. What are some other things that people could put there? Books, a small floral, just make sure that anything you put there, it's very simple. Again, mm -hmm. we want the bed to be the star and keep it very low so that it's not blocking your view. Mm -hmm. And that's really, it's its really just about what you enjoy. Mm -hmm. I just, we used a lot of books and flowers and lamps over here. So you want something a little sculptural sure. to balance that all off. Sure. So another thing, when you're talking most bedrooms, I would think, you know, have carpet, right? That's right. That's a very traditional way to build a house. So we've got the hide here. Would you wouldn't put a rug under the bed here, but what are what are your options with that? Actually, I don't mind putting a rug on top of carpet. It, it balances the space, it kind of, it's almost like doing that in your living room. We still put car, uh, rugs on carpet in living room. It, it really centers the space that you're in. Mm -hmm. And that just finishes off the seating area, especially mm -hmm. if you have a seating area, bring in some type yes, of rug. Yes, yes. But when you do that and you're wanting a large rug, we definitely, you don't put the rug all the way to the wall. No. So what, what are our, what's our spacing for that? So typically it goes about a quarter of the way underneath the bed and the rest of it is at the end. So okay. you, most of the time you're gonna use about an eight by 10 sized rug for a king size bed. Okay, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope that you learned a lot about our bedroom tips and tricks. Be sure to come in. Our designers love looking at pictures of your home and they're more than happy to give you some tips for decorating your specific space, bringing in maybe some different colors as well. So they're very talented and we look forward to seeing you next time you're in. Thanks for watching and don't forget to stop by the Design Gallery by Sam's Furniture for all your design needs. And make sure to like, share, and comment on this post for a chance to win these gold decorative birds.